<laughs> you know, I was just looking through this Bible, thinking about um, what my own father had told me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> For as many negatives that you think that I had with him, mm -hmm. I do have some real positive memories of, of my deceased father. <clears throat> And as much as I didn't believe what he was saying, I actually did believe him. Pooh, he didn't have a real, he didn't have any really reason to lie to me. Mm -hmm. In fact, I found him very honest. Yes. Now, my own father, yes, was a very honest person when talking to me. He didn't, he didn't see any reason to lie to me as his son. He was right. The next morning waking up, yeah, I couldn't see clearly. Mm-hmm. Now, we did have an end-of-life experience, yes, but the truth of the matter is, at the end of his life, uh -huh, after the alcoholism, the uh, cirrhosis of the liver, mm -hmm, the losing of his leg, yeah, he was a little distraught, and I really did not embrace what he was saying to me at that time, mm -hmm, because I had a lot of really good experiences with him growing up, Whew. Now, uh, in Acts chapter 11, yes, <laughs> and the apostles and brethren that were in Judea uh, heard, oh, that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. <laughs> and when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that sat were of the circumcision, contended with him, <laughs> saying, uh, thou wentest into men uncircumcised and did eat with them. <laughs> But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning uh -huh, and expounded it by order unto them, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. Oh, a certain vessel descended as it had been a great sheet let down from heaven by four corners. Oh, and it came even to me upon the which when I had fastened mine eyes, I could sit her, and saw four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What God hath cleansed, thou call not thou common. That call not thou common. Yes. This was done three times. Ooh and all were drawn up again into heaven. Now, I want to mention, yes, that circumcision for me is very important. Pooch. I know that my five sons are circumcised because I made sure of it. Mm -hmm. But there are some of those in the family that thought they'd use my genetics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Giuseppe, Ooh. I want every biological child in my custody today. Yes. And then I'm going to ask every one of them, have you been circumcised? <laughs> Because circumcision is very important to me. Now, for all of you that thought, well, we're going to cover this up. Mm -hmm. uh, there are certain children that I want to speak to. Yes. That I said I was going to change their name. Mm -hmm. And if they're little boys, I'm going to want them circumcised. Because I don't think, yes, you considered circumcision important. Poop. Now, I do this for uh, multiple reasons, really. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. See, my circumcision is a little different than the circumcision that my sons received. Mm -hmm. I have a large scar on the back of my penis. Yes. And I think that my grandfather, Edward Budnick, had some influence in exactly how my penis was circumcised. <laughs> now, we've been using the bell method of circumcision. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I didn't really think about how should we be circumcising boys. Mm. Could you give me every circumcision? Yes. Of every male child in the United States. Oh, and then when you get that because of the birth certificates, give me all of those that are not circumcised. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> now, let's say that I wanted the penises of every male child to be larger than they are. <laughs> he wants big dicks. <laughs> 